Hey everybody, today is day 44 on my journey with muesli. Um, it's done really well so far. Um, like I said, day 44, and this side has really lightened quite a bit. This side was the worst and it's done really well. This right here is done really well. It used to come over to here and a little bit over in here, so it's doing better. My stash isn't doing as good as I'd hoped, because that's, you know, the biggest part. But um, it is lightening, and my makeup looks a lot better on my skin, so that's always a plus when I wear makeup. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing the Muesli Erase, um, and this does have the Hydro, I guess, Quartz. Cortisone. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's 12% and it has a, um, boy, I'm so bad with this, K-O-J-I-C acid, 6%, and something else that's 2%, and something else that's 2.5%. But this is what's in this. I don't know if you can see it or not. It might be a little blurry. But that is what's in it. So... It's working so far pretty good for me. All right, so we're gonna go and shake this up. And I did already clean my face with my um, Lumi Spa and my 180 face wash, which I pray I have enough for in the morning. I'm almost out. I'm still waiting on my um, new bottle of 180 face wash. With vit It's a vitamin C face wash for those of you who haven't seen my videos. And it's really good. You can use it as a face wash and a mask, which is really cool, and it's got 10% vitamin C in it. And I love it, love it, love it. Okay, my prescription says one pump, pea size. Ooh, I think I might be getting towards the end. That's a little bit less than what I normally put on. There we go, do that. Um, the consistency has stayed pretty much the same these last 15 days or so. It started out like this in the beginning, and then it got real runny, and like it was separating, and then it got creamy again, so, but I've been kind of shaking it up every night before I use it, and that might be why. Okay, mine says to put all over face, but I like to put it on my melasma areas first, and then just kind of move it around, like so. Alrighty, and then I always wash my hands really good because I don't know if I want that medicine seeping in into my hands. It's already on my face, so. And I'm a hand washer. I do like to wash my hands. Hopefully that's one reason why I haven't got that COVID yet because I wash my hands all the time. I'm a big hand washer. Okay. And I do like to kind of, but I don't want this stuff on my lips neither, really. I notice the older I get, the more I'm losing my lip line, and I hate that. Because I'm not a huge, huge lipstick fan. I like, you know, glosses or whatnot, but lipstick, not so much. Okay. Now, for my under eyes, I've been using this probably for 16, 17 days. Um, it's by doTERRA, and it is all natural. It's just got um, oils in it. Well, I'm sure there's other stuff in it, too, but it, it's got... Um, bergamot, juniper berry, and melissa in it as well. And boy, my eyes have just been watering so bad. It's from allergies right now. So this um, says just, well, it doesn't say actually how much, but it doesn't take much. I put just a little bitty, bitty drop on there. I don't know if you can see that. A little bitty, bitty drop. And the consistency is a lot like aloe vera. It feels a lot like aloe vera. And it cools like aloe vera after the, it's not really a stinging, it's kind of a, I don't know what to call it, because it's not stinging, it doesn't hurt. You can tell that it's working, you'll feel a little woohoo going on under your eyes or wherever it is that you put it, and then it'll hit cool and it feels really good. We're going to continue to use that even after my muesli journey is over because I'm going to give it a good 30 days just like I had to the muesli. So if you're just now getting muesli or using muesli, I was upset because after the first couple weeks I still couldn't see nothing. 
And everybody kept saying, it takes 30 days at least. At least it takes 30. Well, it did. It took at least 30 days before I saw anything. And now the further I get, of course, it's really starting to work. So I guess it has to get in there and do its thing underneath your skin. And then it starts to work. So don't be discouraged because I was a little discouraged. So, But don't be discouraged. So I'm assuming that any product that you try, whether it be Muesli, Eucerin, um, whatever, Murad, whatever, I think they've got some lightning stuff, just use it for at least 30 days, if not longer, and see. Then give it a good review. Always wait, because you don't want to badmouth something if, or give it a bad review, if it does work, you just didn't give it enough time. So I always try to do that. And I always do second chances with things like that because your skin does change um, this, you know, everything about your skin, just like your taste buds change. So I always like to give things a second chance just in case. But alrighty, and then tonight I'm going to be using the title. This is my go-to. I love this stuff. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's lightning because it is a brightening enzyme. So, and I haven't been using this, but maybe... I think I got into this probably what I don't know what do you think three weeks or so into using my muesli but I just like this stuff period I don't know if it's brightening or not but I like it so I'm hoping to keep this in my maintenance routine which I still don't know what I want to do yet for my maintenance I really need to be looking into it I'm wondering if I can't use eucerin some form of it all the time you know like from now on kind of thing unless I have to go back to the muesli so if y'all are using a eucerin as a maintenance let me know how long you've been using it can you use it for long term I don't I don't know I need help so if you guys are using it as a maintenance for long term please let me know that it's okay because I haven't ordered it yet and what you're using for maintenance because I'd like to know because I need to be looking into something. All right, I'm going to put that on in a minute. I want to let my um, muesli and everything soak in, my doTERRA soak in. And I wanted to mention this. I do have a makeup tutorial on um, on my YouTube page, Kim Ridge. Love as I see it. Um, me using my, um, the yeah, this right here, Estee Lauder, which I love, and the cover-up, and the primer which ooh, I need to order some more of that the it primer which is the balm and a trick I like to use um, this is a um, bronzer is what this is and I got it in my ipsy bag um, I love this and I love this brand um, it's a really it's I don't know what it is O F R A I guess is what it's yeah O F R A and I really really like this um, brand as well and I will put this on, as you can see, here's my melasma. After I put my foundation on and my, my powder, which you must try this Laura Mercer loose powder because it is the bomb. This is the best loose powder I have ever found. I put this on in the morning. I ain't got to put it on again. I'm home at 5.30. I look in my mirror. Oh, I'm good. I can go out to dinner. You don't have to touch up. Nothing. Your makeup stays. It doesn't crease in your wrinkles or your lines. It's a must try. Anyway, after I put my Laura Mercer on, then I'll put bronzer on. But I put it right through here, you know, like where you're, you know, right here. And it helps camouflage if you've got really dark melasma here, like I used to have. It will help camouflage that um, a little bit. And it helps a lot. And then I'll put on... Um, this blush from the same person. This was in my Ipsy bag. I'm telling y'all, gotta get Ipsy. Um, it's a real pretty color, and I'll just dust it right on my apples where the melasma is, and it just blends it all in pretty, and you can't even tell I have melasma on my cheeks now, so it works really good. You don't have to use that brand, but get a bronzer and help darken just a little bit through here, then put a real pretty color on your cheeks. It really does help camouflage if your foundation um, isn't doing the trick and it makes you look pristine pretty okay 
So I'm gonna go ahead, I think it's been, yep, it's soaked in good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Um, this is that title I was telling you about. I just love it. It's so airy and it's just a really cool product. I really, really like it. It smells good. It's, it doesn't really have a, like a, oops, a floral scent. It almost smells like, it's like natural smell. It doesn't really have like a perfumey scent, which I like. It smells more natural. Mmm, like a, like a spa, you know, would smell clean and natural. A spa product. So I just kind of put that on a little bit here and there. And my skin tags, I was saying not too long ago, I started getting some little skin tags here and there on my skin. And they've gotten a lot better um, here lately. And I do think my Lumi Spa for that. I really think it is doing really good on my skin. If I didn't have this melasma, I think my skin would be pretty close to perfect. Because that um, Lumi Spa has really brightened up my skin and made it really nice. And it has gotten rid of a lot of the lines here on my forehead. I still have a few right there, but not a ton. Um, and my crow's feet look pretty good. I used to have really bad deep snot right here, right there, and it's gotten a lot better. Makeup doesn't get in it anymore and, you know, stay in there and crease. So that Lumi Spa is worth the money. Um, if you know somebody that sells new skin or you can just go on newskin.com and order it but sometimes if you find a lady that sells it you can get it a little bit cheaper um, I know my girl sends um, discounts our way all the time on um, products and that's how I try a lot of my products too I am getting the 180 chemical peel at home chemical peel I'm so excited for that I am gonna do a demo on that as soon as I get it in um, to let everybody see that, I'm real excited. It's just a two-step, takes 10 minutes if that long, so it'll be perfect. Alrighty, I guess that's it for my day 44. Tomorrow is day 45. Whoo, Friday, day 45. I'm almost done, guys, but once I'm done with my muesli journey, I will probably continue to do another journey on my um, under my eyes. I've got another product coming in that I'm going to use with the DoTerra. It's actually um, goes on my Lumi Spa. It's for under eyes. I probably won't do that on the Melasma Group page um, because it's not Melasma related, but I will for sure put it on my YouTube channel, Kim Ridge Life as I see it. And I'm going to do some investigating and see if Facebook doesn't have like a dark circle page or something or group page or something and I might do it on that if I can find something like that so um but if my melasma comes back then I'll be back on the melasma group channel but I still got some time left here so um for those of you who like to watch the videos I'm not done just yet so we will see you guys tomorrow and everybody have a great evening bye